the first ICMU's construction, they, they probably began at the first quarter of the 19th century. And they really didn't change much since then. Uh, at, at its core, it's still the same thing. Uh, Mason takes the block, um, butters it with uh, mortar, installs it on the wall, and goes on as he's leveling the wall and, and building up. Um, what would happen is that when somebody needed to install insulation and a facing veneer, um, the mason would pass, would build the structural wall, then either the mason or another contractor would uh, have to pass a second time to uh, layer the building with, a, uh, with insulation. And then the mason would have to come a third time to uh, do the masoning of the finished uh, face. A number of years ago, uh, at a National Masonry meeting, we took a look at the codes, the way they were changing, and we came to the opinion that we needed a product that's going to meet all of these codes. Some of the issues uh, really are, you know, there are some systems out there that claim they have the same benefits. However, it, they don't have a complete system. Uh, we, in turn, came up with a block that actually met the codes and was a complete system. And you have the corner units, the stretcher units, the half blocks. So it's really a full product line. And when, when the mason installs it, you, you, you get continuous insulation around the building completely. This product consists of uh, three main components. We have the face over here. Then we have the structural block at the back. And finally, we have the foam assembly. Now, what's interesting here is that the foam assembly consists of the foam itself. And it comes with these uh, metal pins that are fire safety pins. These are molded inside of the foam itself. And the function is, if there was to be a fire, it prevents the face from arbitrarily falling off the building. Also, too, it works in the same manner under extreme wind loading. We have dovetails on the foam pieces that get trapped into the dovetails, the receiving dovetails on the concrete pieces. Uh, we have a uh, closed, closed cell gasket that the mason has to assemble, has to uh, install with the system. The purpose of the gasket is to provide any air from passing through on the horizontal joints. And on the vertical joints, well, we have our shiplap uh, designed into the foam pieces that we've developed with a, an interference fit to prevent any air from passing through. Here we see an example of the shiplap that we have with two units side by side. One thing nice about this product line versus a lot of the other insulated products that we've tried in the past is we make the structural blocks separate from the veneer faces uh, and that gives you a the ability to make a cheap backup block or a structural block and put a high-end finish on the front of your block uh, and we make a lot of, we, we we're offering the Insultec in the Trendwith line. In the Trendwith line we probably have a hundred different mixes that we run. We can pump out you know 15,000 block in a day, easy. It is important to understand that this project was done in conjunction with experts that were not located at the R&D Center. And I would like to uh, thank the team, Northfield, and especially Len Browning, for providing us all the leadership and the guidance that was required for this project. And on the, the other end, I would like to thank our masonry team under the leadership of Nader Assad. Working with R&D is a joy. Um, they're innovative, open to new ideas. i uh, got a lot of smart people, talented people there, and they really helped push this product farther, much farther than we could have done without their help. We believe the R&D, with the talented group of people we have, we can bring an idea to a product that will become successful. But working closely with the experts that we have in our group, can only lead us in the future to greater success. One Mason can uh, find a way to compete in the industry where he can um, offer, uh, within the same time frame he would install a normal, a normal structural wall, he can install at the same time a structural wall, insulation, 
water management, and an aesthetically pleasing face. Just recently at the World of Concrete uh, in Las Vegas, um, I was there and I had an opportunity to show the Insult Tech to a contractor. He made a statement that it's going to give him an opportunity to regain business that he's been losing to other forms of construction. He was very pleased with it.